Help, help, help! He just went down. I turned my back for two seconds. Next thing you know, he's out. I got an elevation of 250 parts per million for our CO. The atmosphere is bad, guys. It's really bad. We gotta get, it. We gotta get him out. The levels are still high. Did he fall? Did he hurt himself at all? He's work, he was working on the back wall, and now his head's down at this side. He, he, yeah. might, he might have hit his head too, guys. Take caution when you go in. Sir, if you can hear me, be patient. We have guys coming in to rescue. So what took place here is, is we put into a, a real life scenario with regards to confined spaces. Um, people have to be rescued uh, when you threaten um, anything when it in, involves life. And we put a scenario together with regards to um, atmospheric hazards, uh, CO levels. Um, we cannot breathe that in. So that's why our rescuers went in with uh, SCBAs. Um, in a situation like this in real life, um, what we portrayed here is we have to get the individual out as fast as possible and the quickest and safest way too as well. Biggest challenge, and uh, you, you've already videotaped it, is with regards to the size of the confined spaces. We wanted to show you that our, our people were versatile, uh, getting into smaller spaces. Um, the one that you videotaped is 21 inches uh, in diameter. Uh, it's very small. Um, this is a, a real life situation dealing with uh, uh, big nickel giants that we deal with on a daily basis. Uh, there's there's confined spaces uh, like this all, all over. Go alive. Are you in? It went pretty well. Um, real life situation. Uh, we had we had cameras on them too as well. Uh, people get a little bit nervous, uh, but overall, I, I would rate that a nine over ten uh, with regards to how well these individuals worked. Through our policies and procedures throughout Lavare uh, and Lavare WorkSafe, um, we have a mandate that our individuals work uh, on a quarterly basis. That means four times a year. Um, they have a certification for the one year, uh, but they have to hone their skills, and we practice on a quarterly basis. Um, whether we do a mock scenario, uh, whether we do in-class scenarios with regards to PowerPoint presentations, we put emphasis on training with regards to our people coming out of this, uh, uh, out of the workforce or going into the workforce. Uh, we want to ensure that they're getting quality people.